Tom and Bob. Mm. Oh, yeah, Tom and Bob. Yo, hey, what's, what's up? up? Um, I had a, a question. Uh, perhaps a scenario where you guys might actually be um, for abortion. Um, is there anybody here that thinks that babies go to heaven? All babies go to heaven? Well, the thing is, is that uh, yes. infants are, with the exception of uh, Mary and Jesus, everyone has been conceived in original sin, and there are cases where, um, uh, and you have to be baptized in order to have to retain the salvific grace once again, uh, since it is impossible to be uh, be unbaptized and saved. Whether or not infants qualify if they, since God knows the contents of their hearts, if they would have got, if they would have gotten baptized, whether they could qualify for a baptism of desire is debatable. I personally think that they can, that if, you know, if they die as an infant or as a fetus, uh, and if, you know, they're killed, and they would have gotten baptized and accept the gospel of Jesus Christ, they can get a baptism of desire and be saved. If not, then they voluntarily condemn themselves. There's also other theories such as that, if not water baptized, they go through limbo, but I personally take the former opinion. Yeah, be, be, no, it's not, not, it's not, it's yeah. not a given yeah. that every single infant that dies goes to heaven. Okay, is there anybody that well, thinks... I would, I would, no. I would, yeah, I would, I would say, yeah, all, all babies go to heaven, right? They're innocent, they haven't done anything wrong, um, they haven't violated God's law, right? They're innocent, so, yeah, they, they would go to heaven. But uh, be, beyond that, so, I guess, Tom, um, why do you support uh, murdering babies like what about a day before birth like would you say that's wrong yeah, hang on a sec I that wasn't uh, I didn't even get a chance yeah. to answer my, qu yeah. ask my question well, yeah, I, yeah, you... I, I would like to say on ab abortion I wouldn't like to um, I'm like giving to... an argument pro abortion this okay. couldn't be any clearer right yeah, you're, so you're, if it is the go case to, I go you're to religion, religion. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be like well, um, alright go ahead <laughs> I don't understand what the big deal is, guys. Look, if it's the look, this this is just a temporary life, right? The afterlife is supersedes this one in importance by any any metric possible, right? So if it's the case that you think that all babies go to heaven, right? Well, then it's the case that every single abortion results in a baby going to heaven. Not every Christian and if believes it, that. And, and then yeah, it's know. the case that every time that you didn't abort there will be a percentage of those non-abortions that actually result in them going to hell. So it is the case that abortion results in all, all those babies going to heaven and non-abortion results in some of those going to hell. Yes, but it would also be against right our um, religion to commit murder. And we do view- No, you don't have to commit murder. it. You're not committing anything. It is- we still we shouldn't be supporting we, we see it as murder you don't have to support have to it support something that's right. murder or once we don't want it to be a, we don't want it to be a thing we're, we're, we're speaking out against it because we feel that it's murder so <laughs> absolutely i mean it's we're right. allowed they, to speak out against something that we don't like everybody they is. they might be murdering right in a sense but it is the case that they are all going to heaven where it's much more important than this temporary life, right? Yeah, we're not, we're not supposed to murder. Yeah, yeah, we're, not supposed to murder. yeah we're not supposed to murder. Yeah, we're not supposed to murder babies, times, right? That's, that's, that's not within, within the time we spend in this will. life is and instrumental. Then, one at a time. Uh, yeah, let's yeah, let's let's do one at a time, and yeah, you know, let's not uh, over talk. So, yeah, but basically, you're, we're we're not called to murder, right? That's against the Bible. You I'm know, not talking murder. about you doing babies, it. In fact, in this scenario, innocent. you have no part in it. Let's not over talk, people, right? If if you over talk, you'll just be removed. Um, so yeah, so basically, and also, you know, God, he, he has a plan, right? A sovereign plan. And, um, you know, it's good, it's good for people to be able to live their lives, right? God has a plan. So, and when we go through our lives, we make our own choices and we're accountable for our choices. So like everyone who like accepts that, you know, Jesus pays for their sins, um, you know, that they would go to heaven and every, everyone who doesn't, um, they wouldn't go to heaven because they freely chose to reject uh, God's gift. So, um, yeah, like uh, we, we, what we get 
like in in life if we just ask for justice without grace uh that would necessarily lead to us going to hell um yeah so so overall right god god doesn't call us to to murder uh unborn infants right god has a plan and for us to operate against god's plan it's to say that hey you know i know more than god i have a greater knowledge than that which is omniscient so um so yeah so i guess moving uh kind of back focusing on the topic a bit more do you think it's wrong to murder babies that are outside the womb like let's say you see a one-year-old would you think that it's okay for you to uh end their life appealing to god's plan isn't going to so, help wait, you wait, because wait, I asked, yeah that's not <laughs> really a good way to defend that well i asked i asked, I asked you a specific question so uh if you saw one i've asked you, you a specific is, question well, what I, I i answered your I, laid, I sat there and waited I, for you to finish i mean i mean it, it, like even even if you don't like the answer basically in, in summary right it's just saying that god knows more than you more than me he he loves us and wants what's best for us so his way is the best way and his way does not include murdering uh unborn infants right that is not biblical all right so that's why that. i would say that i think it's fair uh, to let me to respond to the point i don't understand what the problem uh, is you're right tom can i, I just think, add something quickly i think i think i think uh, could i please respond it? to the point what's the all point right, of bringing don't. me up here if you don't let me speak it's... okay well, <laughs> all right, well, 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 well and then we'll send and then we'll respond thank you very much i appreciate it it's, it just only seems fair um, appealing to God's plan isn't really going to help you because anything that happens is going to be in accord with God's plan, right? God's plan is not going to be able to be um, super. Uh, the, there's no, there's no way that his his plan is not going to be enacted. So if you intervene in the abortion and stop it, that's going to be part of God's plan. If you let the, if you do nothing, that's going to be part of God's plan. To appeal to God's plan is just pretty much vacuous. Now, all I'm saying, and I don't, I don't, I haven't heard any kind of defeater. I haven't heard anything to the contrary that if it is the case, yes or no, that if every abortion goes through, more souls are going to end up in heaven. Yes or no? Well, the thing is, is that, uh, hey, that's, that's, you actually... don't actually believe all babies go into heaven, CIA. Oh, so, that's, yes, that's, I don't that's, think, that's I don't really think this is addressed to you. Well, I haven't, oh, okay. haven't been able to speak. No, and I think, I, I think, uh, I want to make a point here. Tom is generalizing. He thinks all Christians believe that uh, when babies are killed or if a child is killed, they go to heaven. That's, That's not false. All, and within Christians... the last 10 seconds, I just told CIA that Christians... I don't think he has that view. So you're just legitimate. Okay, so, so, so you yeah, would agree that. Uh, so what's the point of bringing it up? The argument is directed to someone who held, holds that belief. That's what the point is. Okay, that, I can answer that. Simple. When you take a person's right to, to, uh, to decide their life that that's that's wrong that's what you're doing when you kill a child a baby you're not letting it develop become a human be able to experience the joys of life being able to make decisions that is wrong because christians we believe yeah, sure. that you are to decide you are to decide what you want to do with your life god gives you that gift and by killing a child you are taking away that gift you get it taking away what gift you're taking away a gift of life uh, at the cost of the gift of eternal life I that's not a gift I, let me that's tell a shakedown you, we're taking no i said okay to live their lives so you know we do view murder as, as as not okay and i know you said well you're not the one doing it well we're gonna still speak out against it um, that's fine the, <clears throat> that's totally fine claire <clears throat> claire this just turned into a religious I, debate I yeah, just I, want an answer to is, the question. I understand that you wanted an answer to the question, and and I think I that there's a that we kind of reached a point where. Okay, know, let me let me. Have, let's okay, fair enough. I understand. Let me just ask because, it one more time. No, can I please finish my sentence? Yes, if you I, let me speak, I will let you finish. Go ahead. Just please let me speak. Done. I wasn't done. No, you're not, yeah, yeah. Mom, your letter, 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 uh, showing. Let, uh, I'm not going to speak until you're done, but I expect you to. I haven't. I haven't finished yet. Thank you. So we've reached a point where pretty much me, CIA, Eisenhower, and Apollo Trust have all told you our view on this, okay? You, I understand you had a question, but I don't think that this, the purpose of this stage was to go into a religious debate. We're talking purely of, scientifically, abortion being murder, right? So It's not I'm a scientific talking, question. I'm, I'm fine talking for religion for a few more minutes, but I would really like to keep moving because all of us have kind of stated our positions and I don't think you're going to change your position anytime soon. I've watched okay, your that's videos. That's fine. I'm not looking to change your position. Listen, 
I had a very simple question. And contrary to what you just said, it has not been answered by anyone of you, Blair, Polytrosis, President Eisenhower, or CIA. Oh, the I question is very simply, the question is very simple. I'll restate it again. For everyone in the 61 person audience, if all abortions happen as opposed to them not happening, where do you end up with more souls in heaven with the abortions or the non abortions? Answer. I, I, I myself would say that. No, you don't have the view that all babies go to heaven, so this is doesn't apply to you. I would say I don't know. You don't know. I don't. I don't have the authority. We don't have the authority to say who will go to heaven and who will not go to heaven. We can make a guess. We can read the Bible, and that's why you know interpreting the Bible. There's so many different views on this, Um, but at the end of the day, we don't know. Only God. You think all babies go to heaven? You think some of them don't? I don't know. I would like to believe that they do, but at the end of the day, I don't know. Okay, apolytrosis. So she, CIA doesn't have the belief all babies go to heaven. Claire now doesn't have the belief that all babies go to heaven. Apolytrosis, you're the only... Well, you've stated it directly here. I I don't know. I said I don't know. I said I would like to believe, and I do kind of hold the belief that they do, but at the end of the day... No, no, no. I'm not saying that you believe they don't go to heaven. I'm saying that you don't have the positive belief that all babies go to heaven. There's there's nothing you should be objecting to. Apolytrosis, what is your position? Are you going to get more souls in heaven with abortion or non-abortion? Answer, please. Well, there's there's only uh, one timeline, and... Yeah, like it. It's not something that's like gonna, like you know. There's there's nothing like I think all the everyone who can be saved will be saved, right? So I don't think like oh okay, let's say I'm gonna go about um, genociding infants will result in more um, infants going to heaven. Like I don't think that would be the case. Why? Um, and and then also it just it would just be uh you know against God's plan, right? That's not who he designed you or designed me to be um it's 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 against his commandments so i'm not asking you to yeah, even be a part of any kind of the causal link i'm just saying that if you're <laughs> just observing a baby's being aborted versus non-aborted and if you think that all babies go to heaven that means that every single baby that is aborted goes to heaven right that's pretty simple well i just told you that's not what <laughs> You yeah. keep saying the same thing, and I answered. I don't. I don't think you're I hearing me. Or we're all kind of given up, given our answers to that, funny. even though you don't think they are answers. But do you have another question you'd like to propose? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah. So, if it's the case that you, th- well, thank you for answering the question. I'll let me just have one more quick question, and then I'll I'll let you go. I'll just you know get off stage. Um, if it's the case that an expectant mother, say in her second trimester um is careless and she falls and as a result of her falling falling um she miscarries her child um should that person be culpable for manslaughter no it was an accident miscarriage then i think is- you're yeah, it wasn't on purpose. manslaughter is accidental Ma- yeah, manslaughter I, I, is not I, 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 would, I would actually be inclined to agree yes <clears throat> thank you that's a reasonable and consistent answer i believe no Anyone it else? isn't it's not the same thing as an abortion. It's not the intentional killing. It's something that happened biologically accidentally. Um, it right. wasn't as if she Man's, manslaughter fell. is still prosecuted, but even though it's not, an accidental death. Yeah. But yeah. A miscarriage, if it, if it happened through a miscarriage, right? She had a miscarriage. I mean, it, it's still a biological thing that happened. That you know, it, it's not what? like it's. I wouldn't put the woman at fault for a miscarriage. No. What do you a miscarry means that just the body aborts the pregnancy like by itself? Yes, it's not. It's not something that was done intentionally. I wouldn't call the woman to it. Yeah, but it's not intentionally if you, you know, drop drop a fry and you reach down to get it and in the process you run over an old lady. You didn't intend to do so. But as CIA astutely pointed out, the law still prosecutes. And since you're talking about murder. And being, and you're talking about justification in a legal sense. It seems like you would be uh, inclined to prosecute for manslaughter because you seem to be cashing these things out legally. Well, there's there's things that are like out of carelessness. So, like, let's say if I was like texting on my phone and then I ran over somebody and they died. Well, yeah, that would be um, like involuntary manslaughter. I was being careless, and that resulted in someone else's death. 
I didn't intend to murder them, but due to my carelessness, they died. Now, um, like something that that you could perhaps draw an equivalent to that is like if the mother knows that she's pregnant uh, and then, I don't know, goes on, like, on, a, on a drinking spree, like she's just going out and binge drinking. Um, in, in that case, maybe you could say like, okay, well, uh, you know, she knew she was pregnant and she did things that would endanger the life of the un unborn infant. But for her simply to trip, that, that, that would have nothing to do um, with like, like, like manslaughter. That's like, um, what do you think was, manslaughter that's is outside? <laughs> well, it's, it's not. Yeah, it's manslaughter not, uh, literally is state. defined legally as unintentional homicide. Maybe yeah, apolytrosis has some different beyond... concept of manslaughter. What is your definition of manslaughter, apolytrosis? Is there something beyond that? Like, um, really? What is it? Like tri tripping, tripping isn't like uh, I wouldn't see that as like. So yeah, so, there's something beyond. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, what is it? You're telling me it's something beyond that, but what is it? A polytrosis? So a definition that I found on manslaughter is the unintentional death of another person as a result of reckless oh action, negligence, exactly. criminal activity, or any person's actions is, you know, is part of that. So the negligence. And the reckless actions and things like that are a part of when, when giving out an involuntary manslaughter, right? Mm -hmm. So texting and driving, abusing drugs and driving, uh, an accidental discharge of a firearm, um, being careless and, and not taking in response into safety and things like that would, would be what classifies as involuntary manslaughter. Yeah. Being careless is negligence. I was just reading the definition that... Yeah, but you surely you can envision a manner in which an expected mother is careless, yeah. and as a result of that, she, uh, was driving and 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 had a had a she was texting and driving and she um she wrecked. She was being careless and she killed her child. Which fits the exact definition for manslaughter, which you gave, but you don't think that she should be charged for manslaughter in the in the situation where she accidentally fell. She slipped and fell. She was. Look, like, we can just change hey, it to the, the one that yeah. you did with the texting and driving. Yeah, That's fine. It doesn't matter. The exact situation that is, is irrelevant. Oh, yes, what? And driving? But yeah, I would. I would. I would charge. The variables of Personally. what was happening and the negligence that was taken is is important when talking about is mm -hmm. this manslaughter or is this not manslaughter? That's right. the whole thing. The definition. If you're talking about texting and driving, then yeah, she should get some kind of punishment. I mean, what, would that some kind of punishment be manslaughter? Sure, if you want to use that. What do I you think, that, Claire? I, think I, have a, I have a question for you. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. I have a question for Tom. Tom, let's say a woman is going to go get an abortion. Uh, I'm pro-life, President Eisenhower. What? Dude, Tom. So you're trolling. Hey, like so you came in here to troll? No. Well, you're pro-life. No, he didn't come in here to troll. He just came to ask a legitimate question, in my personal And opinion. I did. Yeah, thank you for your time. You're pro-life. Are you lying? Look, or... I, told, I told Claire that I wouldn't monopolize this, right? And yeah. I told her I'd ask another quick question. No, 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 no. You don't get to run no, away. No, I want to ask you a question. <laughs> I don't think you're pro-life. Well, um, that's, that's too bad. unfortunately, we, got, we have 13 people with their hands up. That, right? that is sneaky. And um, we can talk to Tom another time. I'm sure he'd love to to discuss with us things. I'm sure he doesn't want to answer the question.